I'm trying to explain that all right that reverend sideways I know what you mean now yeah yeah, I, I, he, he seems like a fucking full on shell, but I, I don't think he, he might not be a shell. Just gone with the right kind of bullshit. Yeah, he's done a few hangouts and that. Oh, maybe he's a full blown shell. I don't really give a fuck. But what I'm trying to say is, if he's a full blown shell, alright? Um, what can a shill really do? You know, what can David Icke really do? <sighs> Full on conspiracy mode, it's like... Screams at you, don't it? If you don't agree with this shit, you know what? You know we had the flat Earth epidemic. Did you see that come and go? The fads. They get a grip, they work for a bit, people get fucking absorbed by them. And then after the bit, you start to think, oh, hang about a minute. You know, they get you at the time, don't they, and they drag you along a bit, and, and then, you know, you scoot around and, you know, it starts to fucking loosen its grip on you, doesn't it? Eventually, most of them. Clones and chemtrails and you know, one minute you you sort of grow out of it, don't you? Because it's like, yeah. Some people don't seem to grow out of it, do they? They just seem to stay in that fucking mindset, don't they? <clears throat> you know, they, they close down communication. Because they don't want to hear it. It's like, well, you're coming near my personal... Well, they're not my personal beliefs, but I believe they're my personal beliefs, even though they've been suggested to me. Basically triggering me. Uh, but you sort of grow out of them, don't you? You know, there are some good ones, aren't there? Like, you know, the banking system, the way that money's set up. You know, they're conspiracy facts, aren't they? Well, they are facts, aren't they? But again... It's an oil, isn't it, money? And it, even though it's printed on toilet paper, it, it serves a purpose. Um, you just can't deny it, even though we know it's finite and it's now made of plastic and it's at some point in the future going to be in a chip in the middle of your brain. It's still... essential, isn't it? You know, you can't... 
you, know, you could go into it for hours, can't you? How it came about, you know. Knights Templars started printing notes and fucking so you could stash your more your gold and after a period of time it ended up being paper money, didn't it? If you know what I mean. Um, and now we're here, aren't we, at this point where it's It's a blessing and a curse, isn't it, at the same time? You know, if there's very wealthy people and they don't know what, they're not sure what to do with the money, and they don't know where the safe bet is. And I know someone that's just sold their house because they, 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 they wasn't confident what had happened after the Brexit and he foresaw quite a decent drop in the housing market and he didn't want to be losing out so he, he banked it When you see these leaders, like this guy that's just been blown up, right? Just in the simple fact that he's a leader of something means that he's probably a bit of a bastard. If you know what I mean. Like, if Donald Trump got blown up, um, you don't want to destroy the same amount of evil because... The people that have got into positions, aren't they? Getting into the position is quite a difficult thing to do if you're not a bit of a twat. If you know what I mean, like... You know, Margaret Thatcher gets a lot of shit off a lot of people that are really... They've not had a right good fucking look into Margaret Thatcher. You know, she, in her reign, said, women should stay at home if they want to stay at home, you know, and stuff like that. Um, you know, and not really doing the right thing now, why have you stay at home? Bring your kids up like a good housewife. You've been trodden on by man and misogyny and you'll be missing out and you know a lot of women work f too far don't they and they miss the chance of having kids and stuff and some of that is to do with the pressure of societal fucking now thought patterns and you know financially forced into it as well, aren't they? Um, but she took the milk off the kids. Because again, you know, leaders are bastards. I'm, I'm not sure there's many real leaders would in the autobiography not said they've had to been bastards you know so the guy will have been a bastard if someone assassinated Donald Trump they'd only assassinate a bastard you understand you know they are merely representing the financial institutions that guy of Iran and Donald Trump of the USA, but you know, we know it's a com company at all, and all, all that entails. And, you know, he lives in a fucking dream world if you listen to him, like, you know, it's, everything is wonderful. You know, unemployment's down, we're now, the, the dollar is 2% up. 
But no one is interviewing me, so well, what about the homeless question? He doesn't want to go there. Because if you look worldwide, one of the main things that's happening is homelessness is just getting beyond the joke. All of Europe, all of England, I suppose Wales, Ireland and Scotland will not be much different. And uh, over in America, I would imagine Canada's got it, I'm not sure. worldwide now identify that that's a worldwide phenomenon what is that what why will that be well it's a it's a fight for resources isn't it What happens when you get a fight for resources? You get scarcity worldwide. Is that because things are getting dearer? <laughs> you know, in, in the UK we can Absolutely blame austerity, can't we? What is the negative of having homeless people all over? It's not fucking good for business, is it? It's not good for anything, is it? It's not good for the homeless, is it? What I'm trying to say is that these politicians who go on about when the currency is doing it a bit better and they tell you all the bonuses and the great things that they've done and are going to do. But you're still stepping over the homeless, are you? Bad situation. What I mean is they like to point out stuff that it's just dog shit. And in a lot of ways it's to keep you away from the basics, isn't it? Why are people skint as fuck? Um, why are they ending up living on the streets? Um, what's going on? You've got to admit that part of it is immigration, isn't it? Sorry. 
and it just it has to be so the people automatically see that as the the cars and take a dislike to it. So now the powers that be see that that has to be addressed. I'll tell you. To appease the people through the sword of Damocles. It's very interesting, like, you know, just when you think it can't get any weirder, it actually can and it will, you see. There's no limits. We've never been here where we are right now before. You know. The great experiment was to mix everything up and see what happened, right? <laughs> what did you do? Start watching conspiracy theory and believe in all the fucking obvious crap because they've just got you. There's a lot of conspiracy theories. that many it's a shame isn't it and that's how many arguments there are and that's how many shills there are to everybody else because the minute you know I mean obviously I think David Icke's fucking total plant obviously and Alex Jones and you know the cunts at the very top and some of them that are a little bit lower down and trickling down to these low levels where we are I thought, no, I thought there were many, would you? But certain people out there are convinced. Completely convinced, because it's something you've said. They can't accept our old hands up and say, well, actually nobody really knows much, do they? No. Well, I do. What do you know? Well, I know that they can trail in us. The least he fucking worries. What they're doing is, 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 is well, they're, <laughs> they're using these platforms, TV, radio, newspapers, and the device in your pocket nowadays. They're all idiots, lanterns. Ran by the most dubious people on earth and watched by the most dubious people on earth because we're people and we're dubious, if you know what I mean. That's the way it is, isn't it? You know, no one knows everything. Fucking hell. Because no one can be sure they know anything. In a lot of ways. And they're facts. It's like time to grow up. If you want to be a grown up, accept there's things that you don't know and that you will never know. This is not, a lot of this. Is planted seeded, a lot of it's grown up from the planting and seeding again, like the alien stuff, like, it's sort of like, it's a CIA sort of 
infiltrating what they thought was sort of like Russian sleepers and stuff. Goes back to all that. And so the majority of it is absolute crap. You gotta remember that, do I?